All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm in the house with an uh, unusual one. Uh, uh, here with me I've got the Shirogorov F95 R19 Slim. Uh, this guy is uh, a nice addition, a quite unusual configuration. It comes with this uh, bluish box, which I never uh, seen, a uh, classic microfiber cloth, and then it comes uh, with this uh, uh, different, uh, um, look at this, certificate, which is for the nudist, which is, uh, I mean, depicted here, F95, but it's a different, uh, um, it's a different one, but I mean, still uh, the uh, same model, uh, but uh, here we have this. Gorgeous. Look at that frame lock from Shirogor of Knives. Uh, let's quickly check the size on this guy. Like cutting edge is going to be almost four inches and the handle is going to be uh, like around five inches with a 8.75 overall inch in length uh, for this beautiful knife. Let's just do a quick size comparison. Here I got the Benchmade uh, mini bug out and up here you see the bug out and you can see yeah the F95 it's like a big fella. Uh, Spyderco Para 3 and Spyderco Para Military 2 are gonna join the party right up there. Still to show that this is not uh, a small boy. Uh, Chris Reeve knives, uh, large in Kosi and uh, with uh, inlays of course and uh, Chris Reeve knives, small Sebenza are here to attest the uh, the sheer size of this F95 which is uh, yeah full-size knife and uh, for example this is Hinder XM18 3.5 and this is the Arius from Koenig knives uh, also smaller than this bad boy check out uh, Holt blade work uh, Spectre and the Holt uh, blade work haptic right over here again this guy is bigger than both Holt uh, offerings another one from Shirogorov this is the custom division F uh, this is the Neon NL uh, just to show you how you know this guy compares to that and how it compares with the big boy also from Shirogorov this is the 111 Thai bronze so you have a nice uh, picture right over here of uh, the for the size comparison for this uh, quite unusual model yeah because uh, this is the F95 R19 so R19 is like the um, the the special edition I mean uh, for uh, the year 2019 which has uh, this inlay uh, pattern like outline uh, milled out on these scales and also on the clip but the peculiar uh, the peculiar thing about this guy is that this is the slim uh, version it has some nice polished flats as well so made in Russia uh, around 1100 bucks uh, retail price uh, it's just a classic design guys i mean this is the f95 classic shirogor of frame lock it has a subtle blue anodization for the scales uh, and less than subtle uh, central anodization for the standoff you got titanium uh, slabs for the handle which are internally skeletonized to reduce the weight look at that nicely nicely done uh, of course you got external chamfering nicely rounded off on the edges internal chamfering all the way around to look at that reduce weight and also reduce sharpness like uh, edginess of this part over here you got pretty cool finger groove that is gonna allocate your index finger like beautifully uh, right over here um, there's no standoff in this version uh, you can only find the standoff in the F95 NL the newest um, models here you find a standoff a titanium centrally anodized blue um, and uh, of course you get your uh, lanyard hole option on the show side blade absolutely center and safely recessed you're not gonna be able to touch it it, uh, even if it's uh, optimized like to reach like up to there but as you can see just I'm jamming my finger and there's a tiny bit of space so I'm not able actually to touch the tip of the blade so very very cool uh, you got you know nice line this is a classic form from Shirogor of uh, uh, design I bet I think it's uh, dated back to 2010 um, if I'm not correct uh, uh, let me know in the comments down below um, and it's um, 
it's a beautiful one of course you've got uh, your Shugogorov screws uh, which uh, you know they need like a flathead screwdriver at the end of the day with some tape uh, to uh, avoid marring uh, these screws but you can also acquire a proprietary tool which is going to be a little bit expensive to take this guy apart with no risk of marring the screws screws are flat not protruding this is absolutely flush with the scale and this is just a little bit sticking out but just nothing uh, too crazy a uh, pretty straightforward disassembly for this guy you need uh, one uh, like two bits to take these screws out uh, and you need uh, a set of tweezers to um, take care of the multi-row bearing system like these are ball bearings uh, not caged I mean there's a cage but they're loose so you gotta pay a little bit of attention when you take this guy apart you got a stainless steel lock face insert screwed in from the outside look at that's gonna reduce or uh, eliminate in this case completely lock stick uh, due to the fact that titanium is softer than the steel and uh, you know on the lock uh, face like, like the lock interface uh, level they might create some lock stick but in this case problem solved they also added a over travel uh, like a lock bar stabilizer right over here in the uh, stainless steel lock face insert so that's pretty pretty cool uh, you got uh, tip up carry uh, only titanium pocket clip milled to follow the uh, lines of uh, the milling on the scale so that's a pretty cool option dual uh, just one chamfer for the pocket clip very very nicely designed um, you got uh, the uh, lock bar relief which is internal so it doesn't detract anything from the design on the uh, lock side really really cool and then you got this blade which is a classic f95 beautifully designed blade some nice uh, effective jimping going on over here nice bite to it very minimal swedge i wouldn't call it a swedge but i mean a little bit of chamfer that stops right here and then boom you get this beautiful drop point with 30 percent bellying straight edge up to the sharp sharpening choil and classic Shirogorov plunge grind right over here this guy has a, a stone wash uh, finish for the um, main bevel and the flats are polished uh, like like there's no tomorrow I mean this is uh, a fantastic job for these flats to shine look at that I'm just gonna remove some of the fingerprints but here you have the beautiful contrast that it's created between the polished and the stone wash m390 steel of course you got uh, the polish extended ext extending uh, sorry to the flipper tab which is absolutely designed to perfection for a push button or for a light switch uh, with the right amount of jimping going on the right amount of chamfering this is fantastic to deploy guys really really cool the sound is the classic Shirogorov F95 sound it's very nice not too loud nice tinkle when you close it beautifully clinking when deploying really really cool let's quickly also check the uh, stock thickness for the blade because this is the slim version and uh, look at that uh, 0.135 for the uh, stock thickness which is like 3.5 millimeter and point look at that 0 0.009 um, uh, for the thinness behind the edge this guy is a slicer i'm telling you and let's also quickly check the weight uh, on this fella because the internal skeletonization is going to do a nice job in reducing the weight for this full-size knife which is going to be sorry let's do like that is going to be at 4.48 ounces so not too shabby uh there's basically no hot spots in the handle it's uh, ergonomically perfect i would say um, no sharp edges uh, no hot spots from the clip uh, the disengagement area here is just fantastic you see the lock bar sticks out from the handle and you're going to be able to disengage it like that really really cool no uh, finger soreness from the flipper tab whatsoever this texture is going to add some extra uh, grippiness so it's not that slippery especially here on the uh, clip and fit and finish is of course like the classic uh, the the uh, you know unparalleled in some ways she'll go of quality because i don't really see any misalignments any uh, thing out of place everything is where it's supposed to be so 
no rattling as well it's just uh, very very well made especially I mean you guys are gonna pay like a thousand bucks for this one and that's what you expect uh, from a price tag that high I mean pretty pretty cool you don't have uh, a detent ball ramp in this case you have a nice design clip with the the spring tension is pretty strong but it slides in and out uh, uh, very nicely in your pocket so it works very very well you got a multi-row ball bearing system running under the hood which are contributing to this fast deployment and this buttery smooth closing action you got to be kidding me guys like look at this this is just gorgeous like he, it can be fast like that just a little nudge and it's gonna go absolutely fast so just don't do this at home because it might be dangerous maybe you can just do this you know and just take it easy and just go slow like that so like this buttery smooth or just simply wicked fast up to you guys so there you have it hope you guys enjoy this video and thanks for watching stay tuned